Pinterest is one of the best ways to make money online right now. But there's a huge problem. And this is the problem. Well, there's a problem for people over here in this camp, right? And there's a huge opportunity for those in this camp. And those over here are those who are going to use AI, so artificial intelligence, to scale their Pinterest accounts to make more money than ever. Now, starting off, we have a new website, Off Grid Dreaming. Very cool design. I like it a lot. This is I guess you could say this is a public case study. Why would we do another public case study after what has already happened on this channel? Um, well, I think it's the best way to show you strategies. So here's the question. Off-grid dreaming. Why did we pick this niche for Pinterest, right? It's kind of a pain in the butt niche. I'll go over that, but I think there's opportunity here. And furthermore, how can we use a website? Why do we have a website for Pinterest? And I'll answer that quickly. Oftentimes we get Pinterest pages, I'll show you, to a high level. We send them to a website. Why do we send them to a website? Is because once they're on our website, we can monetize in many different ways. Now, if you want to be successful on Pinterest, you better get used to this. So this is called Pinterest Analytics right? Analytics overview you see up here right there. So this is a different page. This is Bonsai Mary. This was a previous case study. So Bonsai Mary, the website at one point had 300,000 visitors per month. It was making very, very good income, a public case study. Now, this is its Pinterest page. This is just for playsies. This is just for fun, right? I was just testing out some things. And this is what's very interesting to me. I haven't touched this thing in a while. And this is our outbound clicks. But more importantly, if I come down here, if we keep scrolling, you're going to see something really, really interesting. So I'm going to go to outbound clicks, right? Check it out. Tell me something here. Do you see anything in outlier, something out of place, totally out of place? So we have boho style decor. What we were doing here, we were, I'll just control click here. We were creating these images really quickly, right? And posting them. And I'll, I'll show you kind of that tactic. But this... This right here, do you see this 32 pins and we've had 2,200 outbound clicks? Look, this has 291 pins with 4,000. The ratio of pins to outbound clicks is absolutely insane, which is why we chose this off-grid or this homesteading niche. Now, once upon a time, so this is Hawaii, right? I lived on the big island, and I'll show you exactly where we lived, and there's a point to this, right? Off-grid living. We lived in this little home right here, this exact one me and my wife, we built from the ground up. This is the exact house that we built in Fern Forest on three acres of land. You get a feel for it. Off-grid, solar panels, 10,000 gallon catchment tank. This, quite literally, is where we lived. Like everything, right there. Really cool existence, which is kind of why we were going towards this. Like I'm interested in off-grid living. Now I live on a very on-grid home, but I know there are people who are uber passionate about off-grid living, homesteading, and we've already proven the concept, right? We've already seen, oh, we put some out there and we're getting really good clicks. And that means we can make a lot of money. Now those 32 pins right here, 32 pins, here are the ones that are successful. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna tell you this, remember we had 2000 plus clicks, a lot of clicks for the amount of effort. This probably took me personally about an hour's worth of time to do all these pins, not hard at all. Here's my question though, which one of these are the most successful, right? I want to know which ones have done really, really well. Okay, this one right here has a huge amount of impressions, pin clicks, saves. So. What is interesting about this one, right? You can see off the bat, off the bat, this is AI, AI content. How can you tell? I mean, you can have an eye for it. AI content, easy peasy. The image is formatted to be tall. Why do we do that? Because people scroll on Pinterest, right? On their phone and phones are tall, right? It renders well. Pinterest has a uh, preference towards that. Now, before we go on, I think this is very, very important to say. Check this out right here. This is the Maverick Vault. So you can see a video is processing. Before I did this video right here, I already cut 20 minutes of video on a strategy, an image strategy for Pinterest. I cannot go over in this video. The reason is if I go over it, it's going to disrupt. Quite literally, I believe this strategy would disrupt Pinterest in a way that I can't do it um, publicly, just being straight with you. So it's going to be here for Maverick members. If you're interested, this is the Maverick Mastermind. Come in here. This is what it looks like. You have a forum. You click this button here, the vault. You get exclusive videos, just like I talked about. And on top of this, if you want to go down the rabbit hole, 
on Pinterest, on Facebook, on SEO. Check out this channel. We have tons of videos. Now, moving on to this. Step one, Pinterest traffic. Step two is website money. So first, we make a Pinterest page. We get a lot of traffic there. Send them to the website where we can make money. There's other ways to do this. If you get step one down, if you figure out how to get Pinterest traffic, you can make money so many different ways. This is just one way, right? But here's the key. If we want to be successful with this, with this right here, right? This type of stuff, homesteading, off grid. What I'm going to do, I'm going to come to scopes.so. So, scopes.so is a keyword research tool, right? Let's figure out what people are actually interested in. We're going to cross reference this too, but let's just type in up here acre homestead come to match in terms and let's just go down. And you are going to see why, why this one right here, why this one acre homestead design was popular, is popular. One acre homestead layout, boom. Let's keep going. 100 acre homestead, 40 acre homestead. All of a sudden we're seeing what the heck are people typing in? Self-sufficient, that's a really good keyword too. We're starting to see, all right, if someone wants to dream about being a homesteader, they're thinking, ooh, I can buy three acres of land. They're gonna type in three acre homestead. And this is exactly how we're going to encourage, how we're going to attract people to our website. Look here, three different images with the click of a button. I can't show you exactly how I'm making these nowadays. It's too powerful. If too many people figure out how to do this, I think it's going to be too much. But check out the Maverick Mastermind if you want to know. Three acre homestead with a nice bold typeface, right? We could have created a hundred of these like that. And that's what we're doing on Pinterest nowadays. Three acre homestead with a little, you know, nice, um, what is that cursive there? And three acre homestead. The goal here, the trick for you is for your niche or niche or however you say that word, you have to figure out what people are interested in. People in this niche are just interested in dreaming. They're dreaming about what it could be. Oh, the corn is over here. Oh, the livestock is over there. Oh, I like this design better. They're talking to each other. Husband and wife are talking to each other. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? That's what we need to do. We need to attract them with the image initially, and then we need to add a title and a description. Now, ChatGPT for descriptions and title, super great. We used the description we knew that we knew worked, right? It was based upon the one that Bonsai Mary had. We pushed it here, rewrite this in three different variants, blah, blah, blah. Here it is. Boom. We have this one right here. Copy it uh, right there, right? Take the next one, copy it. Boom. And we're just rolling with it, right? Just like that. And the third one, copy it. So let's keep going with it. Third one. What we would want to do for the title what are we gonna do for the title? Well, coming back to scopes.so, these are three acres, right? So coming down, we're gonna find something, we could do five acre self-sufficient homestead. So we're gonna do um, three acre um, self-sufficient homestead plans and design or something like that, right? Now let's come back to scopes.so. What is another good buzzword? Um, homestead on a quarter acre. So we already know we're working with three acres, but is there any other words that can make this more specific? Green acre homestead soap. That's definitely not it. Uh, acre homestead YouTube. So this is different. Let's keep going up. 100 acre website layout. See right there. Boom. Layout. You have to figure out the words people are typing in. So we're going to come up here. And what we're going to do here is three acre Virginia um, homestead layout. And for the last one, we could say 25 three acre homestead ideas and layouts for everything you want. Now, that end portion is what we would consider a call to action title. So a CTA, so we're trying to encourage people to click through. Whereas most of the other stuff is SEO optimization, right? 25, three acre, I might hyphenate that. So this right here, ideas and layouts. Ideas is a huge Pinterest word. Layouts for this niche is huge. Homestead and three acre, right? This is the one, right? And everything down here is CTA based. Now, what we need to do is add a destination link down here. I should probably optimize the images to be a little bit, I guess, fatter, but it's fine. It really is fine. You don't have to go down the rabbit hole too much with that stuff. Speed matters, scale matters. If you want to, you know, just, I probably should. In my tool, I should, I should optimize this. I'll say it, I should optimize that. But the th last thing we need to do is get a URL. This is where we are setting that 2000 traffic. There, this, this website's not monetized at all, but someone's gonna come 
on this website, Bonsai Mary, and they're going to get inspired to say, oh, wow, some nice house plans, some nice designs. The problem is, I was very lazy with that one, and I'm being very quick in this video. If you piss people off, if you make them angry because they come onto this URL and they're like, oh, I like this, I like this, and then why the heck is there a house plant down here? And they bounce off in the, in, in the time on page decreases. Pinterest, I'd, I'd be willing to bet, has an algorithm to know if people are satiated, if they're happy with what they're finding when they click through Pinterest, right? So what we're going to do is copy this URL. We're going to put it down here. Boom. Let's do this. We're going to publish immediately. You can click that button, publish. Boom. One more. All right. After that, and we're done. Just like that, we have three pins. I've seen people in comments, people in, in different places say, I can't do 20, 30, 50 pins in a day. I mean, it's really super easy nowadays. We could do 200 pins in a day, no problem.